everybody welcome back to my channel I hope you've had a fantastic week in today's video I am doing a Anastasia Beverly Hills makeup tutorial slash review this has been like the controversial palette over the last two weeks everybody's talking about it online there are good reviews there are bad reviews some people say it's really good and pigmented some people say it's really powdery and I'm just like oh my gosh I bought this um, I think two days after it came out so I'm so excited to try it to me personally I think this palette looks amazing I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette that's like my favorite palette I use it all the time it's got lots of mattes and two shimmers I just really like the color combinations and I can see endless makeup looks with this palette I love that it comes with a cute little brush um, very good quality um, I think Anastasia is altogether a very good brand it was a bit disappointing when I heard bad reviews about this um, yeah people saying it's powdery but the eyeshadows they're made of talc like of course they're gonna be powdery it's all about the fallout to me like if it's got crazy fallout and falling out all over my face I'll be like eh. okay so I hope that's close enough for you guys here is the palette and from looking at this I'm going to take the shade Mercury which is this like taupey grey colour and I'm going to blend that in the crease and I'm going to use my Sigma Tapered Blending E35 brush okay yeah I know what people mean like you literally dip once into the palette and it, your brush is full um, and when you bang the brush oh, I can see what they mean by it's powdery but it doesn't really affect me literally need a teeny bit of this um, but I'm just blending this in my crease and this is gonna be a transition shade and by the way guys if you didn't know my 20,000 giveaway is on my channel at the moment so I'll leave that link down below you can win so many beauty products um, that are all my favorite so if you want to go and win go and enter it um, it was my last week's video okay so now I'm going to take the shade new wave which is this orange shade I have no idea what I'm doing dab it in once it's like really powdery I mean you can believe what you want online but it's really about trying it out for yourself because me as somebody who loves makeup I think this will so far these look fine people were saying like when you blend some shades together they're like going really messy but so far this mercury and this shade new wave are going together how I expect them to okay, I'm bringing that orange shade right into the inner corner I love shades like this um, I always use this orange shade in the Makeup Geek palette called Chickadee and this one's very similar so I love it okay so there we go I blended it underneath and now I'm going to take this shade called Fudge which looks so amazing I love the look of that so I'm going to go on with that more defined blending brush from the palette and I'm going to take the shade Fudge and I'm going to blend this in my crease oh yes that one is so pigmented like literally I took one dab and there's already like a lot of powder now I'm going to take that underneath the lower lash line that fudge shade and I do believe that fudge was a shade from um, already from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I love that it's like such a nice brown color now I'm going to take that shade and concentrate it in the outer corner oh I look like panda eyes right now I need to blend it in a little more because they are really pigmented oh my god I look like a panda okay these are a little bit harder to blend um, compared to the modern renaissance and I want this look to be really smoked out because I'm just dramatic like that okay I want to try the shade all star because it looks beautiful it's like this burgundy red um, and let's do this we're gonna take one dab oh that one doesn't have as much like fallout when you tap into it as the other ones do so this palette isn't consistent throughout the whole thing
Okay, now I'm going in with the Naked Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I'm going to tie up these edges before I do anything else because I bring it way too low. It is quite hard to blend um, compared to some of my other eyeshadows, so take that into consideration if you're not good at blending. I'm just going to put a small line up there. Okay, onto a new shade. I'm going to take the shade Cube now, which is this white colour. This one doesn't have as much fallout and it's like an iridescent paint. See, when I dip into it, it's going on my brush nicely. Oh, okay, that is really like iridescent. I don't know if it's going to match this makeup look. So, this shade reminds me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild palette. It's got like a pink shade like this in it. But it's only downfall of the palette. Yeah, I like the colours, but they are harder to blend. So you need to make sure that you just go over it again with the brush and blend everything seamlessly. Okay, so now that's done, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Lumi Magique pen. And I'm going to draw a cut crease with this. This is my favourite for doing cut creases. I'm going to set that with the shade Dawn. So when I tap it, oh yes, that one's got a lot of fallout when you tap it and it makes like a massive mark in the eyeshadow. So now I'm going to blend it with the outer edge here. So you just want to take a little brush and drag the eyeshadow colour. Oh, this, um... These colours are blending well into the concealer right now. Adorn, because obviously how could you not use this beautiful copper colour? Okay, I'm going to see how this goes on with a dry brush. So I'm going to tap it in like this. Okay, so yeah, quite a bit goes on my brush. This was after like five rubs. Oh yes, it's beautiful. That is a really beautiful shade. It does really go super pigmented when you layer it up. So I reckon this shade is super pigmented. A dawn, like you don't even need to wet the brush. Okay, I'm going to add some underneath the lower lash line as well. I want a little bit of glitter on my eyelid just to vamp it up a little bit. Um, so I'm going to take the Glitter Injections Glitter Pad in Rainbow Dash, which is this one, and this orange shade. Um, for some reason, my Toasted Rainbow Pan, this colour is like full of friggin' like oil and the glitter won't come out. It's really weird. So I'm going to put a little bit underneath as well. So now I'm taking the NYX Matte Liquid Liner and I'm going to put this on my upper lash line. So now I'm taking that L'Oreal Super Liner 24 Hour um, and this is a gel liner. This is like my favourite and I'm going to take this Sigma Eyeliner EO5 brush which is perfect for the inner waterline. So now I'm going to take the L'Oreal Mega Volume Miss Baby Roll Mascara, which is what I got sent in an amazing PR package. Um, and I'm going to try this out. I love L'Oreal mascaras. They are amazing. I swear I say amazing all the time. I don't even know what that looks. That is really weird. I've never seen a mascara wand like it. I don't know if you can see. So far, pretty good. I love the L'Oreal Million Lashes Mascara, the green one that I always use in my tutorials. But that one's just starting to dry out now. I can see this mascara being really buildable and it is very thickening and volumizing, so I really like that. 
So now that's done, I'm going to use my new Lily Lashes in the style Miami. And these were like hella expensive. These were like bleh, 40 New Zealand dollars. I can't even remember, but um, this is what they look like. This is like what Kim Kardashian and Kylie Jenner and all of those celebrities actually use. And these are like a luxe lash brand. So now I'm using the Kylie Matte Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Exposed and I think this would be perfect for the look because it's got like slight orangey tones in it and it will match the eye makeup. Now I'm going to use the MAC Fix Plus and just spray my face with that. And this is the finished look guys, so I did really like the way it turned out. Um, and overall my review on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette, um, I do really like it. I think they are great quality, I think they are very pigmented, I love the shade range. Um, I think I came up with a really cool eye look that was easy to create, like I just whipped together some colours and it turned out well. Um, I love how pigmented they are, especially this Adorn shade, you don't need any Fix Plus with the metallic shades. And um, The only negative things about this palette would be that there is a lot of fallout when you dip your brush into some shades, so um, not all of the shades, so it is kind of inconsistent with the kind of textures of the eyeshadows you could say but that doesn't really affect anything when I put the eyeshadow on it doesn't fall out onto your face or anything and the only thing is that some shades are hard to blend um, so because they are hard to blend you need to take your time to really blend it out and buff it out or you will have harsh lines so that's the only thing really if you are a beginner it might be a little bit harder for you to work with because some shades you really need to take your time to blend but other than that I really love this palette I think it's such a great palette I love Anastasia Beverly Hills so yeah do I think this palette is worth it Yes I do, I think all Anastasia Beverly Hills products and palettes are worth it um, and I do think it is like the Modern Renaissance palette even though that palette is slightly nicer in the formulas of the eyeshadows and how you can blend them out super easy, that's the only thing. So I hope you guys liked this Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture makeup tutorial slash review. If you guys did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tutorials like this using new palettes and if you want to see more reviews then definitely let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it would mean the world to me. And don't forget to go and check out my 20,000 subscriber beauty giveaway if you missed it. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and I'll see you guys in my next week's video. Bye!